Okay, John Deere S70, just because you're bigger than the uh, John Deere 8RT here doesn't mean you have to bully and just like push the 8RT over. Now that's just uh, ridiculous, come on now. What is up with that? Anyway, hello, I'm Rain here. We're playing Farming Simulator 19 on the Millennial Farmer map here. Again, just uh, just dealing with a slight uh, bullying issue here with the, the, the combine apparently. Uh, there used to be a grain cart on the back here as well. We need to go pick that uh, grain cart back up from the uh, shop here. Uh, it's not because it got reset or anything like that. It's because I upgraded to uh, the new version of the grain cart there. And apparently it must be slightly different. I uh, had to repurchase them. So the old version disappeared and I have to rebuy the new version. Which I've already done. It's at the shop. Just got to go pick it up. I already did that for the 9470RX. The 9470RX also has the other J&M grain cart here. Uh, like I said, I upgraded to uh, version 2. Jim there in the comments sent me a link to that here a couple of days ago or a day or two ago, something like that. Uh, so got that installed here. Like I said, it, apparently it's not quite the same or something because, uh, yeah, when you uh, switch them out here, it does remove the old version and you have to rebuy the new version. Uh, speaking of the new version, it does say 1432 on the side. However, this is now a 2000 bushel grain cart. If we go look at it in the shop here real quick. Let's see once here. Auger Wangens. And then the uh, 1432 here goes up to the 2032. Unfortunately, it does not change the decal there. That's uh, that's kind of too bad, but oh well. It does hold a little bit more, so that is kind of nice with our operation we got going on here. Uh, speaking of the operation, everyone's still working on harvesting uh, corn yet on field five here. This is uh, taking a well. Uh, just, yeah, corn supply is being derpy on this field. And uh, same thing for field 12. In fact, I think if we look at this field, we haven't really gotten a whole lot done in field 12 since last episode. Fortunately... Okay, uh, maybe I might have to change that one. What happened over here? Uh, the, the, this field should be a lot further along than it, uh, I thought it would be at this point. Um, let's see, you appear to have unloaded. You're empty, right? Yeah, why are we just uh, sitting here? If I drive now? That doesn't quite look right because he's probably not going where he needs to go. Huh. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to probably stop. I think that'd be the best approach, everyone. And let's see what's here. If I look at the map, looks like, well, he was heading in roughly the right direction there. We'll just uh, drive him over there, I guess. Yeah, we'll just drive across the crop. Why not, right? Uh, anyway, got the bent uh, Ideal 10T still working over here yet as well. Like I said, I don't know what was going on there, everyone. He should have been quite a bit further along than that. I guess I didn't uh, catch the fact that he was just uh, stuck there. Uh, it was too bad. Probably would have had about half this field done by now, but oh well. Uh, yeah, still need to go pick up that other grain cart there from the shop, get uh, field 12 going there again as soon as we uh, unsort that mess out. Yeah, I don't know, the last uh, two fields there, just, uh, they are not going well for some reason. I don't know why that is, but uh, leave it to be, leave it to course play to be as derpy as possible. Yeah, the last couple fields have been going pretty good. Uh, the Fent Ideal 10T is still responsible for unloading itself here, everyone. Don't have a grain cart on this field, although I suppose get one, right? Well, I don't really have a tractor to pull it with. In fact, it'd actually be nice if we had one more tractor at this point. I'm going to uh, got some plowing I want to get done here this episode, and I'd like to get started on some uh, cultivating as well. Uh, got a couple fields that probably need some lime as well, but uh, we'll see what we can get to here. So, okay, 410 here. Let's get this uh, mess sorted out here. That's enough of that there. Come and get off there. Okay. And then as for this tractor, we're going to take that down to the shop here. Run down there real quick, grab that uh, brand new uh, grain cart. And actually, is the combine full? The combine's not full. I can uh, get him going right away here. Oh, yeah, now he's got room. Uh, where does he need to start at? Probably right in here somewhere, if I had to guess. Horse is still loaded. Perfect. Yes, and this is uh, where he needs to be. I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll find out when I hit the start here. Well, drive. That clean drive course. Looks like he took it. Okay. Let's go get a grain cart here a minute. Oh, and we got a couple pieces of equipment that need to be refueled. Okay, well, we'll see once if we get to that. Oh, broken. What? Broken already? Come on now. That's up in the uh, glance mod, by the way, if you can't see that one. Uh, glance mod up in the top left corner there is saying the S780. That is, oh, that's the one on the maze. Okay, that's the one on the corn there. Uh, the one on over on field five is broken again. I don't know what keeps going on with that, everyone. I don't know. It's getting kind of annoying. Hmm. Oh, oh. 
Okay, and he stopped harvesting for a section there, too. Huh, that is interesting. Very interesting. Oh, well. Yeah, like I said, that, that field's getting a bit uh, messy. Definitely taking a while. Uh, I don't know if that's mainly coarse blades derp that's going on down there. Or something. Well, I'm, actually, I'm relatively certain. I know it's a lot of coarse blade derp here. The, uh, the grain card is being very, very tardy about unloading it. It would probably help maybe if I actually created a coarse blade course for that field. At least I'm thinking that would help. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, we'll have to see once there. So far, I'm just still using the same course play course. That is for field six and eight there. So he's got to drive all the way up by the uh, kind of like that pig farm area there. That's where the truck is still sitting, which actually I'm not told to, dr to uh, drive the course. Maybe I should uh, do that here. We'll have to see once. We'll, uh, we'll take care of that once we grab the uh, grain cart here. By the way, if you haven't uh, done so already, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up there. Always very much appreciate it. And, of course, everyone, if you'd like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, that information also down below in the description there. You're welcome to uh, join us there. Server 2 and Server 3. Server 2 currently is Pleasant Valley County. And Server 3, we are in Central Germany, which I think, as I've uh, mentioned before, I believe that is the first uh, European map we've actually played on that uh, server here in 19. Uh, believe it or not, I, mean, I don't think we've done a European map yet. Uh, we've done a few other uh, places, but uh, like I said, I don't think it's been a European one. So, seems like a decent map here so far. Uh, it does have like uh, the, like you see along this map here, those bushes. But uh, fortunately, not much in the way of like hedges or anything like that. Fields are definitely smaller. There's no large fields on that map, or overly large fields anyway. It is a 4 x map with like 100 and... I don't know, was it like 130, 150 fields or something like that? There's a lot of fields on that map. And yeah, most of the field sizes are probably... Eh, they're probably a little bigger than like the field 1 on here. They're probably like field 13 sized or something like that. Uh, yeah, they're probably not quite as big as like field 8 down there. Not quite as big as those corn fields, I don't think. Okay, almost to the shop here. Like I said, we'll grab that uh, grain cart. Should be parked inside the shop there. And if we had enough money, I mean, I'd probably like to uh, purchase another tractor here at this point. But uh, $117,000. I don't know if that'll quite uh, quite get the job done. Ooh, that lights. Oh, that's lights up there. Okay. Okay, brand new grain cart. Uh, this one also is the uh, 2032. Oh, must be a little bit heavy there. Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, this is also the uh, 2032 here, so uh, supposed to be uh, 2,000 bushels. Also, uh, supposedly per uh, gym there has a more realistic unload speed. Obviously, the first time I used it, so I can't comment on that yet. Uh, the previous one there was quite OP in its unload speed. Wasn't quite instant, but it was still pretty quick. Okay, and you know what? Once we get to the field here, I could probably just tell him to drive the course, and he could probably find his own way there, right? Once we get back to the, like I said, well, the field. Bit, get back on the map here, technically, because we are off the map at this point here, everyone. The map ends in here. I think the boundary is actually right there. Yep, right, right we crossed right there was the boundary. So if we just uh, go to this field here, tell you to go to field 12 with S780, drive the course for unloading, and we'll leave him to that. Should be able to take care of it from there, I would think. Well, he's uh, doing that, hopefully, anyway. What do we got going on over here? He's still harvesting. Yeah, he's still harvesting. Weird how he stopped harvesting there. Got back there, started, yeah, I don't know. You can see that on the headland, too. Something happened there. Uh, you know what? Before I go there, I mean, let's go down to the uh, 410 here, the 8RX. Let me get the uh, course play going on this field here a minute. And I don't know if I got a plow course for this or not. We'll check here. So this is going to be field 8. I uh, did finish out plowing field 14 there between episodes. Uh, probably quite apparent there from the map that we finished that. 
So field eight, 14, 12. Nope, doesn't look like we have a plow course. So that kind of figured smaller fields can uh, pretty much finish that in one setting, right? So field eight, headlands. Let's do two, three. Sure, let's do three. Not particularly a wide implement here at 8.7 meters. First waypoint. Ooh, wait, what? Say what? Are you set on two? You are set on two. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, there we go. First waypoint. Drive the course. Okay, now that the ADRX is going, we'll leave him to that. Uh, as I mentioned there last episode, I want to see if we can get a little more oil seed radish planted on the fields here again. I don't know, again, we probably won't do all the fields. I don't know what, maybe just like the fields down here or something? We'll see once. We kind of did uh, fields three and two up here last time. I think it was just those two fields, actually. Maybe we'll do like five, six, eight, nine this time. We'll see once we get to here. That'll kind of maybe be the uh, the goal if we can get that done. Is this going to need to be... No, this... Sh oh, no, it is going to need to be limed, too. Okay. Eh, they're all going to need to be limed. I should probably just, like, get started on that then. Yeah. Oh, 9470RX. Why can I not get to you? That's weird. Weird stuff. Uh, weird stuff of over here. I don't know. Still working yet, though, so whatever. Uh, are you going to go? Yep, looks like you're going to unload that combine. Okay, cool. I'm going to hop in the 9570RT here then. Going to uh, clean up some of the missed areas here by uh, course play. Normally, I probably wouldn't bother with this, but uh, I don't know. It's quite a bit missing here if you look at the map. So we're going to clean this up here just a little bit. I might not get it all, but don't tell Mathos we're not going to get it all here. Someone ratted me out here a couple days ago, Evan. Um, and Matho showed up and reminded me I need to uh, get a couple uh, missing pieces of soybeans there. So whoever told him last time, you know, just don't tell Mathos we're missing spots here now. Come on, people. And for those who don't get that joke, well, let's see what you probably would have to watch some of the older live streams. Speaking of uh, live streams there, by the way, one, uh, don't forget, if you'd like to uh, see the Central Germany series there, you can find that over on Twitch. Again, RDL and on Twitch. The link is also down below in case you need that there as well. And while we're at the links, I guess I might as well remind you too, everyone, if you'd like to uh, follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram, those links also down below. Don't forget to also mod list linked down below. And if you're curious to what kind of uh, computer system I have, got that linked down below as well. Which at least for those of you who uh, follow along in the uh, the tech news as far as computers go, everyone, mm, might just have to upgrade a certain component on that list here fairly soon. I've seen once we get our hands on it, though. That might be the bigger problem. Okay, and we still need to do the far edge of the field there yet as well. Unfortunately, that field also needs to be cleaned up yet. Okay, there we go. Oh, and there's a little bit over here too. I can see that from here. I right, you know what, I might as well just uh, get rid of course play here. I don't need that open at the moment. Oh, that's just from uh, going around. Okay. Why, well, yeah, of course, they misses so much there. You can see it doesn't miss quite as much between the passes. I guess, is that what it is? Because there's only three missing spots here. Uh, and then I'm assuming there's probably three headlands times two. So a total of six times around the headlands. Yeah, you only got three spots here. So it's like only every other time it's missing. I don't know if that's missing. Oh, you know what it probably is? It's probably missing between the tracks, that one. Because with the headland, with course plays new features there, it does enable an overlap. But that overlap, I don't think, applies between the two tractors. So if you got two tractors on the same course, I don't believe there's any overlap between them. If that makes sense. Oh, quite right a bit missing over here. Like I said, there's, there's quite a bit missing here, so that's why I'm kind of cleaning this up here a little bit. Oh, well, probably have to do the same thing on the other field there as well. And uh, being that all the fields got reset here, when yeah, all the fields are in kind of uh, need of help, shall we say. And 
And we'll make a couple passes across here. And that should uh, clean that up. Uh, and like I said, I would like to get some uh, cultivating done on this field here as well. But we're kind of short on tractors here at the moment. I was hoping one of the combines would be done this episode here. Either the one in field 5 or the one in field 12. So we can take one of those tractors, right? Probably preferably the one on field 5. So we can get the 9470RX uh, going on some of this work. But... Unfortunately, when those combines well, and the grain carts that go with them are not uh, exactly what we would call cooperating. You notice I finished field five, or well, force play technically finished field five, or no, field three, I'm sorry. Force play finished field three, everyone. That field is done. Uh, and there was a, probably a whole lot more left on that field than there was on fields five and 12. Far more than definitely field 12, right? Yeah, we just got to get uh, course play to actually uh, keep working here, which I probably should go check that. I see they're both broken. Are they actually both broken or are they going yet? We'll check that here. Make sure they're still working down here. Yeah, they're still going. At least I think they are. He's just sitting there. That's a little bit suspicious. How about you? Are you working? Yeah, that one's working. Can't tell what that one's doing. Looks like you should be going to unload the combine, judged from the fact that the combine appears to be pulled out of the row there, so I'm guessing he's waiting for unloading. Oh yeah, okay, he's trying to find a path. That's what's going on. Uh, shouldn't have a trouble finding a path there, course play. <laughs> I mean, you're like right in the middle of the field. Well, we'll probably get that message one more time here, and that should. Oh wait, yep, there it was. There it was the second time. Trying to path through the crop, relaxing path, finding constraints instead. Yep, now it's just gonna drive through the crops. What a shame. But the combine on uh, field two here will probably still finish first at the rate they're going down there. Oh, it's black combine. N never mind. Nope, definitely won't. Nope. Uh, that, is that actually a combine over there? What is that thing? Yes, that's right. What What is that thing? Actually, yeah, that thing's been working pretty good. I'll have to give it that one on the map here. It's actually, well, it's on the self-unloading mode. And that seems to that seems to actually be a little more reliable with course play, believe it or not. Uh, grain cart's a little more fun, if you ask me, but yeah, it looks like the self-unloading mode is probably probably a little more reliable because uh, you could still create a course play course for the truck there. I, I don't have one created. It's just uh, sitting there. Uh, I figure I'll drive it back when it's full. It's only doing soybeans, right? So it doesn't fill up very quickly, unlike uh, corn, which would fill up a lot quicker. Oh, let's see. We're going to make another pass across here. I think we're going to call this good with this pass, everyone. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit here left yet. But uh, it's just going to get the majority of it. Then we'll head up to the other side of the map there. And I don't know what side. And, uh, probably starting like field nine or something like that. Get that uh, field done. That's going to take a while to do that field. That field nine, there's a good sized field. Field three. Field three? Field three is probably the only field that does not need to be plowed. Yeah, field three. Oh, field two will not need to be either. I did, uh, remember when I did reset those fields uh, before we started harvesting them. All the rest of the fields, though, unfortunately, uh, and the ones I did reset had corn on them yet. So, of course, five, six, eight, nine. Those will definitely need to be plowed. Okay, might come back and get that little missing spot there yet. Just because there's crop there yet. Appears to be some sort of dead withered crop. It's not actually a harvestable crop. Which is actually, uh, as I mentioned, kind of annoying. It'd be nice if, uh, okay, you get the withered crop there, and it'd be nice if that actually just like went through the combine and it was gone, right? That's obviously what would happen in real life. You're, the combine's not just going to skip over a crop. And in fact, the combine's not going to skip over anything. The weeds, whatever's in the field, is going to go through the combine, right? Okay, I'm going to call that good. Yeah, maybe we we'll get these spots here. Got that one. That's a big one there, yeah. Yeah, okay.
Okay, looks good enough to me. Let's uh, fold this uh, operation back up and head to the other side of the map here. I do have one more tractor, by the way, and it's debating if that'll uh, pull our field cultivator there or not. Uh, we do still have the 8260 sitting in the shed there. Might uh, might just break that tractor out here. And that tractor's probably just a little on the small side for that uh, cultivator, but eh, it's worth a try. The only other tractor we have is the uh, 6175R as well. Definitely don't think that tractor is going to be uh, pulling any uh, 2410 cultivator. And that is the uh, five-section version of it, too, yet. Yeah, I mean, we had, like, the three-section version of that. And actually might not be a bad idea. Maybe what I should do is get that three-section cult. I'm pretty sure I've got a 2410 three-section of one. I just happen to think of that. Might just uh, do that here. And then, of course, once one of the other uh, big tractors is done, I can put that on the five-section and get that going on uh, cultivating here as well. Also need to get some lime going. Just remember that, too. Right. Got some plans. I think we got some plans here. Uh, course play can just keep the harvest rolling here. Uh, that's right, we gotta plow that field too. Right. Uh, by the way, I think I mentioned this already. I do plan on playing one more year, at least one more year in the game here anyway. Don't think we'll probably do any more than that, but uh, one more year in the game, that'll bring us up to a total of four years here in the seasons mod. So we're going to kind of get ready for uh, next spring here this fall, get the fields all plowed, cultivated. Like I said, we're going to throw some oilseed radish on some of them. Uh, that'll provide us some fertilizer, especially on the uh, outline fields here if we do all four of those fields. If we'll do any more or not, we'll see once here. It does take a while to do the planting, obviously. So uh, S780 needs to be unloaded. I'm thinking I bet to go check on that there, everyone. Unfortunately, I can't just click on it because for some reason they're grayed out. They're both broken. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that? I don't like it. That's uh, that's what uh, that's what I don't like. Definitely something uh, going on with that uh, field, though. That where the equipment uh, keeps uh, breaking. The only thing is, everyone, like I said, I'm not entirely sure why, because I don't actually uh, see anything over on that uh, field. Which is kind of weird. Might just have to, you know, maybe pop that open in Giant's Editor. Just see once if there's anything actually over there. Uh, visually, like I said, in the game, I'm, I, I'm not seeing anything visually over there. Of course, I haven't been through the entire field. But at least looking at, like, the low-lying spots there. Not seeing any indication of, like, a water plane or anything like that. And as a reminder, everyone, that's not necessarily uncommon to see that. Oh, I forget what map that was. We played on the multiplayer server. We had a collision in the middle of the field. Uh, it was caused by uh, the Seasons mod. Well, there were some Seasons mod ice planes in there. Which not really probably the Seasons mod fault, per se. But they were related to the Seasons mod. And they were basically ice planes in the middle of the field. So presumably that field was designed so it would flood. And then if it was in the wintertime, obviously it would uh, freeze, right? And you have an ice plane out in the middle of your field. Kind of a cool feature, I suppose. Except when it uh, has a collision on it, and uh, yeah, you keep getting stuck. Oh, you're set to two, two, aren't you? Okay, let's see. I'll go refix that here. Field nine, just need one tool. There we go. First waypoint. This is probably gonna take a while. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Hour and thirty-nine minutes. Cool. It's not as long. As I was thinking that'd be like a couple hour course on that field. That's not too bad. No, they're still running yet. Okay. Looks like they uh, sorted themselves out over there. Okay, cool. Not a whole lot left to go on that field there either. Excellent. Now, hopefully, uh, when they're done, I can actually get into them. Because if you notice, I, mean, I can't uh, I can't actually get into them at the point this point. Also, can't uh, tab to them this way either from the looks of it. Um, I don't know. Can I get in this one? I can get in this one now. A couple episodes ago, I couldn't get in either of the S780s. I was wondering if something was going on with the S780s. But nope, I can get in that one now. As long as they're still rolling yet, I'm gonna, I'll uh, leave them to Oh, this field's actually going pretty quick. Hey, look at that. Now that course is actually doing some work here. We're actually uh, getting it done. Oh, speaking of work, you know what? I probably lost some crop when those grain carts were uh, repurchased, didn't I? Uh, that's a bummer. I didn't think of that. Oh, well. 
Oh, we lost more crop yet. Actually, speaking of crop, how are we looking here, everyone? Let's go check what we got here. So we're currently sitting at uh, 15,000 bushels of beans and 33,000 bushels of corn. Reminder here, all the fields only have one application, or no, two applications of fertilizer instead of three. Uh, was there anything else? Yeah, we need lime. We need, uh, we need plowing on them. So, yeah, we're probably hurting as far as crops go, but again, I only plan on playing one more year in the game. So I don't think it's going to hurt us uh, too badly. Get this uh, lime spreader going here because, uh, yeah, we need some lime on some of these fields. Uh, you know what? I uh, might as well fill this up here a minute. I don't have any lime around, do I? I don't think so. Go crack the top on this here a minute and uh, fill it up because we're probably going to need a full load of lime. Literally, I believe every single field on here needs to be lime. Now, I probably could go through with the uh, development tool there. I want to maybe change that on a few of these because I'm sure not all the fields need line effect. I know last, was it last fall or last spring? No, this spring. This spring in the game here, I did uh, lime a couple of the fields. So, there's for sure at least uh, probably two or three of the fields that should not have needed to been limed. But, oh, well. Oh, well, let's just, uh, we'll just start with the field right here, I guess. Might as well, right? Okay, course generation, field one, or field, yeah, field three, one pass, let's do two, well, actually, you know, one pass is probably pretty good. Now, let's do two, just because of the angle over there, that might be safer. Uh, two passes there. Wait, generating the course. Back that up just a little bit. Okay, first waypoint. Drive the course. Off you go. Yep, go off. Okay, that should take care of that field. And like I said, this field does not need to be plowed, so I might just run the cultivator across that one here. We'll uh, we'll see once. Or, you know, actually, one, I got the high-speed disc. Oh, I actually do have two cultivators, don't I have one? The only problem is... There's no way this tractor's going to run that high-speed disc. It might run it in the game, but not real life, everyone. Not real life, it's not going to run that. It, actually, it probably would run it in real life, everyone, just not at the speed it's designed to go, right? Uh, this high-speed disc is designed for probably, you know, in excess of 10 miles per hour across the field. Uh, and the 8260 could probably pull it just uh, maybe at, like, you know, 5 or something like that, right? don't think that 8260 will quite pull that in real life either. So, how much is a three-section? I believe I got a three-section one of those. That's the five-section. Oh, I do have a couple other cultivators here too, don't I? A KTP. A little bit smaller, 7.4 meter cultivator. It looks like it's a little bigger. 9.49. Yeah, nice. Couple smaller cultivators. Oh, we do have the uh, land all there. 350 horsepower. Now that's that's a little too much. A little too much. Hmm. Do I not have a three section? I thought I had a three section. I went okay. That uh, might have to scratch that plan here because I am not seeing a uh, three section here. We do have a disc. There's the high speed. Now oh, we do have a 30 foot disc though. Yeah, we don't really need that. Paro harrows. Nope, shouldn't be under that. Plows. Subsoilers. Go check the subsoilers here. What do we got under here? Nope, nothing there either. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Thought I had a three section. Maybe I overlooked it. Oh, well, we'll, uh, we'll worry about that some other time. Like I said, looks like, uh, looks like field 12 is probably getting real close to being done. Actually, this field's getting real close to being done as well. Then we can have both of those tractors. That'll, uh, that'll take care of that problem, so. How are we looking over here? Make sure he actually, uh, pulls away when he's done. Got a bad habit of not doing that. Actually, he did pull away this time. Okay, that's good. Make sure he just doesn't uh, sit at the stop point here then either. Seen that happen a few times. Actually, does he need to be unloaded? Uh, 780, yeah, there is an S780 that needs to be unloaded. Which one, though? Let's see, S780 with maize at 95%. Yep, that's definitely probably the one that needs to be unloaded. That's also the broken one, which is the one over there. So, go. Probably is going. 
No, not yet. I'm not seeing a, well, actually it might take, might have to wait like 30 seconds for that message to appear because he might be like sitting there calculating it right now. In fact, judging from the FPS, I'm, I'm going to say course play is probably doing something. <laughs> the FPS is horrible. Yep, yeah, horrible. No, well. Hmm. Well, I'd like to get started cultivating and planting here, everyone. Actually, yeah, probably actually a good idea. We don't have uh, the 8260 because I'm going to want the 8260 probably on a planter, aren't I? Speaking of planter, I am going to need a planter. Hmm, just uh, just realize this, everyone. I do not actually have a planter for oilseed radish, do I? That's right. Okay. Forget which one I used last year in the game. I might have to just go look. Maybe, uh, actually, you know what? I know the one I used last year had some problems, and I purchased a, or used a, sep or a different one. I know the second one worked a lot better. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll leave that tractor there for the moment. Like I said, I might just need that uh, tractor for the planter. I guess on that note, one looks like it. Oh, it is actually it is time to wrap it up already. Okay, uh, on that note, uh, we'll wrap it up here, everyone. Uh, you folks have any comments or questions? Be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.